Hello guys, it's Mandy. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a new visitor here, um, please consider subscribing. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. <laughs> if you want to receive notifications, just hit that little bell. And last of all, if you have a channel of your own, let me know and I will be more than happy to give you a sub as well. So it is Sunday. I am so sorry that I did not do a video yesterday. I'm going to talk about all of that in this video, um, but let me tell you who this little girl is first. We're going to be changing two babies today. They're both going to be going into pretty simple outfits, so it really won't take too long to change both of them. But this is Naomi. This is Naomi. She is the Peaches Sculpt by Cassie Brace. And I am getting her out of her current outfit right now so that we can get her into her new outfit that is going to match her twin sister. Um, little Naomi is the baby that I originally bought her off Macari and she was in very bad shape. And my beautiful artist friend Haley from Golden Hour Nursery, she reached out to me and um, told me that she would love to strip and remake my peaches for me and she did um, that is a absolutely amazing box opening by the way if you want to go see that I highly recommend Haley um, I'm gonna link her uh, reborns.com account in the description of this video because she did both of these beautiful girls you're gonna see today if you're new to my channel you'll get to see both of these girls today there are uh, they are the um, they are my twins their names are Ruth and Naomi this is Naomi um, <clears throat> and she had done my um, uh, Ruth is the Elliot sculpt and she had done my Elliot for me um, I had bought my Elliot off of her and then she offered to do Naomi for me when she came in such bad shape. So, but this is Naomi and we are going to get her into a gorgeous purple romper. She's going to be matching her sister who's also going to be in a purple romper. So I'm going to be putting her into this really cute romper. It's by Onesies brand. It's zero to three. It's a white romper that's got purple flowers all over it with some kind of like gray greenery. There's a little bit of like green, like a mint green leaf in there too. She's going to be super sweet in this. So we're going to get her in this. Her sister's also going to be wearing a purple romper. Me and Tammy both have these outfits. Uh, because sometimes we twin our Elliot girls with these. So, while I'm changing this baby, let me tell you what started the whole thing with Odin. Um, so I have, if you're new here, I have five cats. My husband and I have five cats. Did we ever think we would end up with five cats? No, we didn't. But sometimes there's this little thing called the Universal Cat Distribution System. Look it up. I'm telling you, it's a thing. <laughs> and sometimes you end up with way more babies, way more cats than you ever thought you would. It's kind of like reborns. You can't stop at just one. Oh, she's sliding. Let me put her back up. Um, but anyway, Odin is a favorite on this channel. Um, he's been in a lot of videos. He's my little orange boy that just has one eye, hence why his name is Odin. If you're familiar with the lore of Odin, or if you just have seen the Marvel movies with Thor, and his father is Odin, and he only has one eye. So, um, Odin, starting on, like, Friday, um, actually starting Thursday night, I noticed he was going to the litter box, like, constantly um 
and that's really unusual. And if you have cats and maybe you're not familiar with, you know, their litter box practices, if you see a cat just going to the litter box every five to ten minutes, um, that's not a good thing. Um, he was only producing a tiny bit of urine each time, just like you know, he was kind of straining, he was breathing really hard, and he was only producing a tiny bit of urine. Um, and I thought, okay, well, let me just observe him and see if maybe this is just a one-night thing. Um, well, I probably should have taken the onesie off of her because the onesie is yellow, but that's okay. I like to have onesies on my babies, and she has a onesie that's made just for her. So there she is in that. So Odin was straining to pee well on friday it was still happening <clears throat> so i called around to my vet no appointments till the end of september called around to my vet's sister clinic none there called to some others none there so i just put a purple headband on her head she is so sweet in this but that did not take long at all did it that did not take long i thought you would take longer to change because you're so fat you're so fat Anyway, um, so my own vet advised me that I needed to go to the emergency vet. Um, and so that was like Friday evening. Um, I wanted Joe to be there. Um, we knew that whatever it was that we were catching it really early because he had just started this the day before. So on Saturday morning, we decided, okay, we're going to take him to the emergency vet. <clears throat> and, um, rather than waiting, um, for a, uh, rather than waiting for an opening at our own vet, um, my own vet who I've been going to for years, and I mean years upon years, uh, probably over a decade now, um, they told us that, you know, anytime it's something with a cat's urinary system, don't wait. Um, so let me pause this for one moment. I'm going to go get her twin sister and we're going to get blah, 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 blah. <laughs> we're going to get her changed too. <laughs> Maybe I haven't had enough coffee. I'm just babbling. Okay. Um, sorry guys. I lost my words there for a second. <laughs> Sometimes if I lose the track of what I'm saying, I'll just be like, eh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So let me go get Ruth. I'll be right back. So before I forget, I've got Ruth over here. Baby Ruth. I've got baby Ruth. Let me put these little white socks on Naomi. Because I wanted to put these on her. So let's put these on her. So anyway, um, my vet was like, anytime it is a cat's urinary system, you do not want to play with it. You do not want to fool around and wait on it. And um, we had lost a cat in 2017 to kidney disease. So I already knew that when it comes to um, a cat's urinary system, that if you see something going wrong, don't, don't wait on it. So let me get her up. And let me put our other baby down. Okay, so here is our other baby. Let me make sure she's on camera. She is quite a bit bigger. <laughs> she is quite a bit bigger than her twin sister. Okay, let me let's just go ahead and take the bonnet off. So that way you can see her in her entirety. And let me zoom out a tiny bit. That might be a bit too much. They are, even though they're both zero to three, they are drastically different lengths. That might have been a bit too much. <gasps> what did I do? I adjusted like the lighting instead. Goodness gracious. Okay. I fooled with the lighting again. What? 
did I do wrong? There we go. Okay. We're just gonna... Hold on. I don't know why the lighting went different. I don't know why it went pear-shaped, you guys. But everything went pear-shaped. Have you ever heard that phrase? When things go wrong, they go pear-shaped. Um, so, anyway. So, this is... Ruth. This is baby Ruth. We call her baby Ruth. She is the Elliot sculpt by Cassie Brace, and she was also done by Haley at Golden Hour Nursery. I adopted her earlier this year, and I love her. I love her. I love her. I love her. I love this sculpt. Um, several of my good friends have this sculpt. Tammy has this sculpt. Sina, um, Anne over at A Colorful Life. Um, I'm sorry, Dolls in the Cradle. <laughs> And Shara just got an Elliot, too. And I think there's more of you that have an Elliot. I just can't remember right now. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> I set her up. I don't think this Jacquety... Oh, yes, it does have... It does have buttons, so... Let me get these buttons off of her. Or rather, let me get them open. There we go. Okay, now we can get this off your head. So Haley made her this adorable onesie that says sweet, sweet as candy, because her name is Baby Ruth, otherwise known as Ruth. <laughs> From Ruth and Naomi in the Bible. So let's straighten her up a little bit. I'm trying to make sure that her whole body is in the camera view because she's huge. So let me get her outfit on her. So because we had lost our cat Bubby in 2017 to kidney disease and I at that point I knew nothing about cats really I did not know that my cat was dying of kidney disease I waited too long and the day I took my cat to the vet um, I was ignorant we didn't have much money I'm talking about Bubby my cat Bubby that died six years ago um, when I got him to the vet it was already too late it was already too late and uh, he had little to no kidney function left and we said goodbye to him that very day because the vet told us that um, he was suffering. So fast forward to yesterday, we get him to the emergency vet. We are just nervous as can be. Um, I mean, we're terrified because Joe was already um, living with me at the point when we lost Bubby and we both remembered what it was like to lose him. And we were just terrified that we were gonna lose our Odin um, because of that past experience. But they ran a whole bunch of tests. They did, um, they did a bladder, um, they did a urocentesis, they did blood tests, they did kidney values, um, all of that. They did an x-ray, and praise God, thank you for all of you who prayed, by the way, because I had asked you guys to please pray for him. Praise God, there was not a thing that showed up on his reports of anything being wrong. Um, he didn't have any stones, he didn't have any crystallization, he didn't have any sign of kidney disease, but he did have a very inflamed bladder. So they, um, the doctor told us that he has what's called um, feline, feline idiopathy synthesis. Um, it's called FIC, not to be confused with FIP, which is a almost always fatal condition. It has nothing to do with kidneys, um, but um, FIC or bladder synthesis. Um, and so we have to um, we have to make sure he's getting lots of water. So I ordered him a water fountain. We went and got some new food, um, some new different kinds of canned food. Um, so we're just kind of changing the way that we did things. <clears throat> we spent a lot of money. <laughs> Thank you so much to the person who bought Winifred the person who bought Winifred has a channel as soon as she gets her baby and she gets that video uploaded I will share it on my wall um, but 
Uh, but yeah, he just needs a diet change and we just need to make sure he's getting plenty of water and um, these changes won't hurt any of the other cats too because when it comes to cats, the more moisture they get in their diet, the better. So here is baby Ruth in her purple romper. This is a solid purple romper with some little pink flowers on the chest, little ruffling around kind of each side of the bodice. She's already got little white socks on and she is going to have a white hair bow. She is, she is going to have a white hair bow. Oh my gosh, she looks so cute. She is a big girl. Look how big she is, you guys, from like top to bottom. Let's cut her side by side. We're going to move her to be like right. There is no good way to do this. Oh my Bobby, come here baby girl. You lost your hair bow. You lost your hair bow. There's no good way to put you and your sister in this Bobby to show your size difference. Maybe we should take away the Bobby. That's what we'll do. We'll take away the boppy and, or rather, maybe what we'll do is use the boppy as like a pillow rather than, and I'll make sure you guys can see this too. So here is Naomi, I mean, so here is Ruth, and then let's get Naomi. Let me see if you can see her, because I just kind of want you guys to see. Sorry, guys. I'm using my, um, it's my, um, my desk clip, because I have to fix my brand new, um, I have to fix my brand new, um, tripod that I got. So here is their size difference. I'll get out of the way. But there is their size difference. <laughs> they are yeah, Naomi is quite a bit smaller than Ruth. Let me just kind of there we go. Yep. Naomi is so oddly enough, Naomi seems to be wider. Like I kind of feel like she's wider, but Ruth is longer. Um, they both have really, really thick, chunky limbs. If you guys want a thick, chunky baby, adopt a Cassie Grace baby. <laughs> but look how much longer. Um, I keep trying to bring her hand up here. Her hand keeps wanting to. Let me kind of turn her a little bit. Maybe. There we go. There we go. But look how much longer she is than, um, adjust her a little bit. Then sweet little <laughs> Naomi. She is a lot longer. Oh my goodness. They are so cute together though. I love them in these matching outfits. They are just too adorable, aren't they? They're too adorable. They're too adorable. They look so much alike too. Um, she tried to make, um, she tried to make, um, Naomi look very close to Ruth, and I think that she, that she did it. <laughs> they look very similar. Two little baldies. Two little baldies. They're so adorable. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. So I will see you in the next one. Um, moral of today's video is if your cat starts having pee pee problems, don't ignore it. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care, take care of each other, and we love you guys. Bye.